Here are three more examples of expressions containing parentheses. We want to remove those parentheses, which will make the expression less complicated, which will simplify the expression. And we use the distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction to be able to remove the parentheses properly. So if we're going to remove the parentheses here, we distribute that multiplication of 3 times both of those terms. 3 times 2x gives us 6x. 3 times plus 5 gives us plus 15. If I remove the parentheses here, I again do it by distributing the multiplication. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Think of this as negative 2 times positive 4. Well, negative 2 times positive 4 would give us negative 8, so I write minus 8. And I remove the parentheses in that expression. This expression has two sets of parentheses. So I'll perform the, dis the distribution two different times. I'll distribute 2 as a multiplier for those two terms. I'll distribute a plus 5 as a multiplier for those two terms. 2 times 4x gives us 8x. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. A plus 5 times x is plus 5x. A plus 5 times a plus 4 is plus 20. And we have simplified that expression by removing the parentheses that were there. Now, I hope that you recognize that we could go one step further in simplifying this expression. Don't we have like terms now in this expression that we could combine? We can do this addition and subtraction because we have some like terms here. 8x plus 5x, that's going to give us 13x. Minus 2 plus 20 is equivalent to plus 18. And we have dramatically simplified that expression, have we not? When you compare the complexity of this expression to the complexity of this expression, this expression is much less complicated, it's much simpler. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make expressions simpler by removing the parentheses that are present.